today. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, this is Matt Football on EA Sports. and the New York Giants taking on Taylor Heineke and the Washington Commanders. Well, it's an afternoon probably best suited for skating in Central Park, but we're across the river and we are in for a cold one at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East and we've got a great matchup between the Washington Commanders and the New York Giants. is set for a start as we are underway from MetLife Stadium. And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. They'll be brought out by a player who was undrafted back in 2015 out of Old Dominion. Last season, his first as a starter, it's Taylor Heineke. Let's face it, you don't see too many Old Dominion alums suiting up under center in the NFL. And in fact, Taylor Heineke, the first ODU quarterback to suit up for a regular season game, not to mention doing well in the playoffs. This guy's an absolute fighter. Fought for every chance he's had in this league. Attitude, determination, those carry over to his teammates very well. They run with the Alabama rookie. That's Brian Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Good job there. Pretty simple. The hole was created. Runner just darted right through. Yeah, that's kind of play teams are looking for to have some success early in a ball game. And if you're an offensive play caller, you mark that run down. Make sure you keep coming back to it throughout the game until they stop it. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. And now a 1,000-yard rusher a season ago, Antonio Gibson with it. He'll get this up to about the 44. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Heineke. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 39. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. A handoff running left is Gibson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. 
They'll go again with Gibson. And some room to run now. And they move this all the way down to the nine. That good for 22 and a first down. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point, because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, OK, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Heineke. Flush to his right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. Second down and goal. Heineke. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Oh, Shane Zeminis. He's the culprit dropping him for a two-yard loss. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. This will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. Now Heineke. Under pressure, they got him again. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now from 28 yards out. Sly able to put this one through. And it's 3-0, Washington. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. To the made field goal. Here's Sly to kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here come the Giants, led out by their former sixth overall pick out of Duke back in 2019, Daniel Jones under center. We knew about the great mind coming out of Duke, and we saw the athletic ability and the potential. Watching it all come together and get better with each passing year, that's been fun. He can throw it deep, throw it short, and of course take off out of the pocket and beat you with his legs as well. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Well, the very first thing they told us, Charles, was we need to apply pressure early, and I would call that early pressure a nice sack to start the game. <laughs> and on the other sideline, I just have this image in my mind of the head coach on the headset with the offensive coordinator asking him if that's exactly what he saw in his mind when he called that play, and if so, is it going to be like this all day? 
that's a tough one right there. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. 36 yards on the play. Lofted it up there on the corner route, and he just went up and got that thing. Pretty nice ball placement on that one as well because it takes some good arm strength and touch to make that throw. On the business end, though, he came down with it in a big way. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Coming up on second and seven. Now Jones. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Throwing Jones. Pass is caught by Wandale Robinson. Yeah, boy, he had the marker square in his sights, but a good tackle is going to leave him about a yard or so short. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. First play will be a field goal try. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. Gano's kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Going a little tennis on me. I yeah. know you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the serve? It, what was the return on? It was a backhand. I and like a that. really good backhand. It's a nice top spin on the a little bit. A little bit. I love it. Yeah. Almost a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. A first down throw for Heineke. He's got the hookup downfield to Samuel. Touchdown, Washington! Curtis Samuel, 72 yards. And the Commanders have moved out in front. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play, and just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well, because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. 
Joey Sly on for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. It's Barkley on the counter, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. So that time, they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Looking to throw, Jones. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He turned that into a nice gain. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. To throw on third down, Jones. James has got it, complete. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. The commander's offense returning to the field. 
Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. Showed some flash on the run, but he will be brought down shy of his 10. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And that run, that changes the whole mentality about the drive right there. They were starting on their own two-yard line. They just wanted enough space to punt the football successfully. Now they're talking about putting together a drive. On second down and four. Heineke, this is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Heineke on first down. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that will bring up second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fabian Moreau. And the Giants are going to take possession of the football. Here's Jones throwing to start the drive. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And they'll work this down inside the 30. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Jones on first and 10. His throw incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. To throw again. Jones escaping the pressure right. He'll get this one to Galladay. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The Commanders bringing out the nickel package on third down. They'll look to throw again. He's got Bellinger. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half.
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another go, first and ten. Let's go. You tighten up. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Second and five from the eight. Again, he'll drop to throw. This is caught. Touchdown, Giants! Kenny Galladay on the touchdown throw from Daniel Jones. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you've got a brand-new ball game. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. So the drive there took six plays, and it's capped off by the touchdown from Kenny Galladay. as the kicks away. Take it in at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. One final possession for the Commanders in this opening half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Final 24 seconds of the first half as they come up here first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Throws the out route and completes it to Samuel. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Heineke now from the 50. Over the middle, brought in by Dotson. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Play fake, and now Heineke slings this deep from McLaurin. And that is intercepted, or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Thomas has got it, complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one.
So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. Sly able to put this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we have come upon halftime, and it's the visiting group from Washington who are out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Giants about set to go to begin this third quarter. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come out and continue to throw the ball effectively. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Well, they tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Back to throw. Jones. This pass into the hands of Bellinger. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. Another pass complete to Bellinger. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he'll kick it away for the second time. That's taken on the 25. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. First possession of the second half now for Washington. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Heineke to throw it. Throw right side complete to Dotson. 
Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. To throw again on second down, Heineke. And his throw here is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. To throw is Heineke. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly and neither did he. They got to him just in time and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Jones now throwing to start the drive. Throw right side taken in by Bellinger. And this will be a gain of right around three from the seven out to the 10 yard line. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. On second down, here's Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. Back to throw. Jones. He's going to float this one deep right side. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives him the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. You're not ready. You're not ready. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he carries this one past the midfield stripe and into commander territory. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. I have to think a major focus at the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense.
Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Got a man, Slayton. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline, but what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. Out route pass complete to Bellinger. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. From the 37, they work on second and six. Back to throw. Jones. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw again. Able to locate his man Slayton on an out route. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Now Jones throwing on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Third quarter from MetLife Stadium. Here's a second and 10. Off play action, Jones. And he's going to lose yardage here as they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with this third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So third down, and a field goal from here would be right about 50 yards as they try to get closer. Flush to his right. He's going to fire one, corner of the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Daniel Bellinger, 33 yards. And the Giants have taken a fourth quarter lead. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone. So give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Gano for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was finished off with a touchdown by Daniel Bellinger. Touchdown here to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. A 
look at Washington as they come onto the field. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. sweep not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30 Justin Ellis hit on the stop well they gave up a few yards there but all in all I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets sweep if they don't slow him up he might take it to the house so they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball from the 30 on second down Heineke and his throw is incomplete. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. If it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Washington on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Looking to throw, Heineke. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Oh, Shane Zeminis picks up his second sack of the afternoon. An assortment of sacks in this game. This one the product of a good jump and terrific effort. Moves quickly off the snap of the ball. Doesn't let up until he's in the backfield and impacting the quarterback. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game, and you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, open man is Galladay, complete. Jones to Galladay, first down, Giants. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside, make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him and the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. Six yards left on second down. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Oh, 
Operating from the gun, Jones. He finds his man, it's Robinson. Touchdown, Giants! Wondell Robinson, 44 yards. And the Giants are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Gano now to add the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was finished up by a touchdown catch from Rondale Robinson. Touchdown here to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Washington offense set to take over. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. down Heineke they'll try and set up the screen it's complete and some space here and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40 give him 30 yards there that's why you call a screen you want to catch a defense over committing plenty of space available and that matched up perfectly what a convoy he got downfield to pick up big yardage on that play So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now Heineke. He gets it to Thomas. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. And just a yard to go here on second down. Working out of the gun. Here's Heineke. And he'll go right back to Thomas. Complete again. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. So the face mask moves them closer, and now first and goal. Heineke now. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Uh, he's trying to protect his quarterback's blind side. Got nabbed for the hole. You have one job over there. Make sure that man does not get hit. So if you have to hold occasionally, do so, because they don't catch all of them. This time they did. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Throwing. 
Heineke. That's Samuel caught left side. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. And they ran just a little underneath the route here on first and goal, but there's really not a whole lot of room to operate this close to the goal line. He's just not able to get loose after the catch. Still a ways from the end zone as they come up now on second and goal. Back to throw. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Thomas. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Third and goal, and keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And the Giants are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. Try and run some clock here with Barkley. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll go to Barkley again. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And the Giants will kneel it here out of the victory formation. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And the Giants will kneel it here out of the victory formation. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Down to a knee goes Jones, and that should just about seal it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half with the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise.
for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew, I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. For that, we sign off from MetLife Stadium.